Ibrahim Ayo Your Excellency, myself passed through Amitage in 1983 to 1988 by But Amitage School, they are known for obedience and respect. As we used to call Green Leafs, those are the beginners when they are in Form 1. They respect their seniors and I think that still remains in the school. That's what I can see here. We'll have only two speakers from Amitage N, and His Excellency will do the rest, or he'll dedicate somebody to speak on his behalf. First of all, the purpose of this gathering is, when we had a meeting in Amitage School Field, on Meet the People's Tour, Amitage School were asking His Excellency President to support them for a vehicle. This is what he did. That's the purpose for us to gather here today. What I will do, I'll first of all call the principal, Sekuna, to give a few statements and recommend somebody from his end who will do the other talking. Sekuna, Mr. Principal, can you please come forward? Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Your Excellency President, Mr. Adam Aparo, Honorable Ministers Present, Directors, Permanent Secretaries, Managing Directors, Members of the Diplomatic and Consular Corps, Venerable Religious Leaders, Security Chiefs, Governor and Chief of CRR, Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen, Good evening. On behalf of the board members, parents, teachers association, teachers and students, I wish to extend giant and sincere greetings to Your Excellency, Mr. Adam Aparo, for the magnificent gesture to modern heritage. The school has an enrollment of 832 students, of which 467 are boys, representing 56%, and 365 girls, representing 44%. The borders constitute 480 students, and their students make up 352 students. Teaching staff number 33 of which 31 are males and two females. Graduate teachers make up 64% and 44 teachers with advanced diploma. The total number of staff on our payroll 
860. Mr. President, I know you were well informed about Amitage at the dawn of your presidency. The deplorable situation was your utmost concern and the timely support saved the school from sending students to their parents and subsequent transfers to different schools. Sir, with your intervention and the support from MOPSI, as well as establishing a caring and dynamic board, Mother Amitage is an enviable institution today. It is gratifying to know that within your tenure as president, the school can boast of the following, but not limited to. A solid perimeter fence for the first time in the history of the school, a massive renovation of facilities and the extension of girls' hostel to address the issue of congestion, 24-hour electricity as darkness is now our rarest commodity, classrooms are well lit, and uh, it enhances, enhances nice studies. And because of the environment being conducive, when there was this lockdown and you declared state of emergency, students pleaded to stay and study rather than to go home. <laughs> Timely payment of uh, feeding subvention, meaning palatable food is always available on their table. The children are no longer crying for food. Comfortable beds and nets were provided by Child Fund Gambia and Tunisia Relief Services, respectively. Fans are installed in the dormitories to ward off unbearable heat. We you know the heat in Sierra. So we thank God they have fans. We extend a sincere appreciation to MRC Holland Foundation for complementing government's effort and future in our hands for the work. Sir, your dream to transform Amity to a prestigious university uh, institute will be realized as we continue to have Samaritans in the likes of Madam Amikolembai, the board chairperson. Personally donated 500 of each of these items, cups, plates, and spoons. In addition, she provided bed sheets, coatings for dormitories, as well as six months sanitary pads. I have been supporting the school with food items, learning materials, assembly hall cares, sporting materials, and the list is endless. Recently, 1974, by donated 125,000 for classroom furniture and our technical department. Our technical department did the manufacturing. The 1979 badge is bent on creating a clinic for the school. The 1972 and 1986 badges send signal for their arrival. I know the experience are now competing to come and help school. Mr. President, I know your work would be lessened very soon. Take free Gambia, SOS, save the children. Gambia Force Authority, uh, our dynamic and our dynamic governor are uh, complementing your effort in helping that Amitage is a safe haven for every child. Mr. President, making an environment conducive, conducive for teaching and learning has a phenomenal impact on our was, was 2020 results. With four students with distinction, which is rare in spite of the pandemic caused by COVID-19. We shall strive, we shall strive to do more in producing the much needed human capital for the advancement of humanity, which is the hallmark of modern heritage for almost a century. Mr. President, to state the obvious, your magnanimity is beyond measure. For far too long, the school was struggling without utility vehicle. The only usable, uh, usable service vehicle was donated by Go for Africa which has outlived its duration. We had so many breakdowns on official trip to Greater Banjul. Can you imagine when the board chairperson had to help me to push our vehicle for the driver to start the engine at our home? But thank God, 
Little did I know that this very night we will get something from the president. Mr. President, thank you so much. In the midst of life we are in debt, we lost students and uh, rely on regional education directed and the governor's office to evacuate this disease. So we can see how important this vehicle will be for the school. The most difficult situation prevails when students are in critical medical condition and are referred to Bansang Hospital without an ambulance. We resort to using commercial vehicles, which is risky and time consuming. Transporting fell wood and the food items are constrained and the burden is lessened by hiring a tractor of Janjambore prisons or commercial vehicles. Mr. President, with the delivery of this modern vehicle to the school, which we shall cherish as our baby, you have gone a long way in alleviating one of our biggest challenges. And I'm with the conviction that you are bent on cherishing Amitage and willing to do more. You are a beacon of hope and uh, solace. We pray for your well-being and fulfillment of your noble vision for better Gambia. Once more, on behalf of the school, thank you and Allah bless you abundantly. Always in our heart you shall be. Mother Amitage will continue to smile at you. Thank you so much for your time. His Excellency, and Mr. Adama Barrow, the Governor of the Region, the Board Chair, the elders of uh, Janjambure, whom I see around, other protocols observed, my colleague, Minister, and uh, the students and teachers of Amitage. It's indeed a wonderful evening. A wonderful evening in the sense that Exactly a week after an appeal for a vehicle or for mobility to be provided for Amitage Senior Secondary School. Here it is we are witnessing the presentation of a vehicle to the school. It's indeed incredible. One would have thought it would have taken a few weeks or even months to answer to such an important request. But it was almost at the same hour last Friday when we had the meeting here in Janjambure that uh, this appeal was made. And uh, when I stood up to speak, I emphasized the appeal to the president, noting that that very week, the board chair had spoken to me to say if I could put in a word for the school to the president to ask for mobility. <laughs> and what I said to her as a friend and colleague, I said to her, Ha aji amienta milingen bugabarina. Ha na du yen le gigaklengen de faralsen school be. And here you are asking for a whole vehicle. Little did I know that it was going to take only seconds for it to, be, to reach the ear of His Excellency the President. And uh, when he stood up to speak, I wasn't surprised. I was only amazed. And he promised at that very moment that he would provide the vehicle for Amitage Senior Secondary School. The president does have Amitage Senior Secondary School at heart. <laughs> Amitage Senior Secondary School happens to be the only boarding school that we have in this uh, country, a conventional school under the government. It's not the only school in the country. But he does have Amitage at heart. I could remember some three years back when an announcement or a program came on the news, a news item came on DITS to say Amitage was about to close down 
as a result of the students not having enough food to eat and so on and so forth. That very night by 8.30, while the news was on, the president called my phone asking me what was happening in Armitage. And uh, unfortunately that evening, I didn't have electricity in my house. Like some people think that all the ministers do not suffer from blackouts. We also do. I had no electricity and I said, the president said to me, Honorable Minister, are you watching GRTS? I said, no sir, I don't have electricity, unfortunately. And I was shocked, I was wondering what was happening. And he said to me, there is a um, news item on the television about Armitage. I said, yeah, is that so sir? And they said, they said they're going to close down because they don't have food. And uh, I had to say to him, well, I know that there are issues, but uh, we are looking into it. And he tasked me, said, make sure you look into it as quickly as is possible and make sure the situation is solved. And so I had to start calling that night. I called my peers, I called other people. And uh, by the end of the week, they had their food provided. And since then, Amitage has had stability. And with the, with the dynamic board chair that we have now, which I put in place, I put that board in place. And she's so dynamic, I've known her. She was my senior at school. I know what she can do. So I identified her and uh, she's in charge of the, of the school now as the board chair and like has been reiterated by the principal. She's doing a lot for the school. It's getting late and we cannot go on with a lot of speeches. But I want to say, Amitage, Amitage students, here you have a president who, have, who has you at heart. The president of this country has Amitage at heart and his concern about every single one of you. And he has great hopes in you. You are the future of this nation. And this country is going to be handed over to you in due course. And so, he wants to prepare you now for that noble task which is ahead of you. And so you must not let him down. And I believe you will not let him down. It's taking just days for you to get your request. We know how important it is. And here is going to make the vehicle available tonight, just as he promised. So he's fulfilling his promise to you to take care of you. And this is one of the ways in which he's doing so. You must also fulfill your promise to him and to the board and your, your, your school administration, to the ministry and to the whole nation to make sure that you perform well at school and excel and come out and be men and women of substance of this country, ready to contribute your quota to national development. I hope you will listen to my advice, you will pay heed to my advice. And this is an appeal I'm making as well, that you continue to be disciplined because that's where it starts. There is nothing you can achieve without discipline. The first law in heaven is discipline. Continue to be disciplined, continue to work hard, continue to perform well and excel. On that note, Your Excellency the President, on behalf of the students and staff, the principal, the board, uh, chair and board members, I want to say a very big thank you to you for this noble gesture. We are indeed very grateful and we pray for your good health, sir. We pray for your well-being, we pray for your peace and your prosperity. And we wish you all the very best and even more that you wish for yourself, sir. And for the country as a whole. We thank you so much, sir. Uh, it's a great pleasure.
and an honor to be here today with the students of Amitage. Uh, looks like everybody is looking very, very smart. And uh, I am also very excited. I never thought the whole of Amitage <laughs> will come here just to receive this small gesture. Well, I, when I listened to the speakers, there was an appeal for support for Amitage. I know that they have challenges, and because of those challenges, I said I have to intervene. And later, I will engage my Secretary General to make sure we see how best we can support Amitage. Amitage is a unique school. It's the only boarding school in this country. It has a lot of history attached to Amitage. So I will not allow, during the time of my presidency, for Amitage to suffer or Amitage to close. We will not allow that to happen. That's why I made a personal intervention, but I will still discuss with the Secretary General. We see how best we can support Amitage. But I will seize this opportunity to thank you, thank Holland Foundation, and congratulate you also for intervening and solving the problem at the right time. It's a great pleasure and an honor to hand over these uh, keys to the board of uh, directors of the school. And this, this is also the documents. I think also I have something else. This is a coupon for the, for the school. This is 40,000. Oh, for, 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 for the start. Yeah, so thank you, thank you very much. President of the Gambia, uh, Mr. Adam Abaro, ministers, governor of Central River Region, my dear sister Claudiana and colleague, the, all other protocols observed, and the students of Amitage teachers, parents, uh, and other staff. I just want to say a big thank you. You just said that it is a small gift, but this is not small. It will go a very long way in, in, re in, in alleviating some of the problems we have been facing. Uh, we are very thankful to you through the Ministry of Basic and Secondary Education because the minister has been very instrumental in providing all the support that is needed. When we took over Amitage just about three years ago, it was in a very deplorable condition. But thank God, with the support of the ministry and other partners, we've been able to achieve a lot. Now you go to Amitage, it's really picking up yeah, as before. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, so thank you very much. And be rest assured that uh, the vehicle will be put in good use. It will be used effectively. Yeah, thank you very much. The President of the Republic of the Gambia, the Honorable Ministers, members of the Diplomatic Corps here present, the Governor of Sierra, Security Chiefs and all other protocols duly observed. Good evening. I am doubly elated to deliver this speech on behalf of our school. When news of your benevolent gesture was brought to us, our faces beamed with joy and happiness. When news... However, Your Excellency, we must be clear here that we were not surprised. Was it not through your personal intervention that we got our school renovated and started enjoying for the first time 24 hours of uninterrupted electricity? Was it not through your personal intervention that the school, for the first time in many decades, got a perimeter fence around it? We were a boarding school with over 500 boarders living in insecurity before the perimeter fence was put up. Sometimes, I become emotional when I reflect what could have happened to our lives as young girls and boys without a security fence around us in this world of insecurities. Was it not also through your personal intervention that we had buildings put up in the girls' dormitories to decongest the already congested rooms that we, the girls, were living in? I am pretty sure that it must have been through your intervention that we now enjoy adequate and decent meals. As the adage goes, to whom much is giving, much is expected. Our predecessors have taught us the practical meaning of this saying. 
As a show of appreciation of all these aforementioned kind gestures, they taught us to remain disciplined and focus on producing excellent results. This they did by not only graduating with a series of 9 over 9 credits, but also overall they have almost all qualified to enroll for programs in the University of the Gambia, the Gambia College, MDI, or the GTTI. We, the continuing students, have also pledged to reciprocate these gestures that have all come to us through your personal interventions by continuing to be more disciplined, study harder, and produce better results. Now we show the nation of a brand new pickup truck to the school at a time when we had. Until your donation of this vehicle, no roadworthy vehicle to ferry us to and fro hospital when we get sick. You have now got us all completely. We might be considered as minors by many, but I want to categorically state here that by 2021, 95% of about 1,000 students attending Amitage in both morning and afternoon shifts will have reached the age of voting. On behalf of these 1,000 students, I pledge we must reciprocate these invaluable kind gestures from you, Your Excellency. What even make us marvel and admire you, and to be obliged or indebted to you in a, is the swift or quick manner you responded to the pleas of a few speakers about our needs for a utility vehicle. If Your Excellency could not hesitate to respond positively to our pleas in no time, why must we hesitate to respond positively to your request? And we must carry these tales to our parents. Our parents must be aware of how you intervene to help us with the comfort of life on Amitage campus, necessarily to help us fare well in our exams. We must consequently seek their support of you, Your Excellency. While I use this very rare opportunity to extend our appreciations of your personal interventions, in easing the difficulties we used to experience here at Amitage to you in this unbefitting way, I would want to use this same opportunity to highlight some of our pressing needs. We need a coaster to be able to embark on educational visits in the Gambia, Senegal, and the Guinness, and to take part fully in regional and national competitions in sport and academics. And we will not also want this beautiful brand new pickup truck just donated to us to be used to carry firewoods to facilitate the cooking of our meals. So we would be doubly elated if we could be helped with a tractor or any suitable vehicle to be used for fetching us firewood. This will ensure that our new pickup will live a viable long life. We have no doubt you can do this for us. Once again, while assuring you of our unflinching support in any way as may be requested by you, I thank you limitlessly for your support. We pray Allah guide and protect you. Thank you. When we touch down, but I broke down. Gamtel G Fiber, now you can enjoy super fast internet in gigabytes. G Fiber is affordable, stable, secured, and accessible to homes, businesses, and enterprises. With Gamtel G Fiber, the future is speed. Gamtel, creating a brighter future in communication.